What is a Roni Bracket? Well, you're going to find out if you watch the whole video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this one. Well, welcome back to the hangar again. Uh, the bearings did not arrive. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the previous video, um, that they had not arrived yet. We had a big blizzard in the middle of April. Yuck. And uh, everything uh, got um, delayed. So i uh, sitting at a post office right now, and I'll probably get it Monday. Um, so I'm back here at the hangar doing other things that need to be done. One of the things I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be installing Roni brackets. What are Roni brackets? Is it like macaroni brackets? Nope, not quite like macaroni brackets. But before I get started with that, before I get uh, too far into this, i got to ask you guys to like and subscribe if you like what you see and leave a comment to say hello from anywhere in the world there got that part up done let's continue on okay so a roni bracket this it's a roni bracket in this bag let me show you and this is the modified Roni bracket, by the way. This bracket here, this black part, is what holds my wing strut here and right behind me here. They um, they hold the wing struts to, to the uh, to the launcher on, and normally it's just this bracket and this bolt and it's bolted on and you're putting a flat surface onto a round tube and there has been three maybe four incidences i know three for sure that these brackets broke uh, they had uh, quite a bit of hours on them and also my understanding is and i could be wrong but i believe these are on uh, Challenger 2s that have floats and when of course you're on floats uh, little ripples in the water it, it really it's like a jackhammer it shakes a bit that's like a jackhammer thing that just really really pounds on these and it develops cracks and breaks along there now um, three I know for sure they fell out of the sky there were some fatalities uh, with one exception, one fell out of the kind. There was no fatality because they had a BRS or ballistic recovery chute that they pulled the lever and parachute went up and they came down. Um, there are so many of these aircraft out there that uh, uh, you know it's it's not the sort of thing that that um, I would say is chronic at all, but. It, there is an AD out there for those of you who have challengers that tell you to replace these Roni brackets after, I believe, 300 hours or something when you do your uh, engine um, rebuild. Now, there is also a modified set that was released that go on the launcher on, so to have these aluminum pieces. Now, if you notice, I'll hold it like that. What that means, what that does is instead of this bracket sitting on a tube it now sits on a flat surface and the tube is there and of course in the back side and you tighten it up and it's actually going to be right about like that that distributes the load all along here so you no longer have the, the load on a narrow section of this bracket where it takes a beating and uh, and um, well, breaks. Actually, I believe it would be like this. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Um, so it's, it's like this along the tube, and that's where it cracks, is right along that line where the bolt is. That's where they've all broken. So there is an AD to get these things replaced, but this modification over here makes it ultimately a lot safer. Now, you're still going to be replacing these brackets at the recommended intervals this piece here or you can get them 
inspect it with the dye penetration and all that kind of stuff, see if there's any cracks in them. Um, I would personally purchase another set of brackets, get the modified ones, uh, replace them on your Challenger, and then if you want to get the ones you pulled off inspected, checked, get the x-rays or z-rays or whatever they do to it, uh, to make sure there's no cracks, that the metal is 100% intact, then you can put them aside and mark them as good, if you wish, um, or you can throw them out. It's up to you, okay? Um, I'm going to be replacing it with these brand new set on the bottoms because this is on floats, obviously, because you can see that. And, uh, and I'm going to make sure that, um, that it's, it's done properly. And likewise, I'm also going to uh, um, make sure that the torquing on these, I've, I've been doing a lot of reading up on this thing. Apparently people torque this bolt too much and they lock this thing in place this Roni bracket, and um, and it's supposed to just be allowed to f move a little bit, but, but no, anyways, there's videos out there on how to properly install these brackets, uh, and and then talk, talk to uh, Quad City and get their input, and uh, don't take it from me, no, no, I, I've done my research, I'm going to be doing it one way, but do your research, and confirm it yourself before you go ahead and, and do these things. So anyways, that's the goal today. I'm going to put these Roni brackets on and with these modifications on it, uh, which means I'm going to have to cut the material out on, um, on this tube in order, because I, I don't want fabric between here and here. No, I do not want fabric in between here. I want this to be a metal on metal and this to be metal on metal. I, I, there's nothing in between, which means I've got to carve out a little bit of fabric so that I get a proper mating of all of that. And um, yeah, kind of obvious. And then of course, if this aircraft is ever recovered, you, you account for that when you recover it. So that is one of the things I'm going to be doing today. Maybe a few other things, but that's the primary goal today is get these brackets on so I can finally get these wings installed. Um, yeah, thanks for following along. Uh, it's time for me to um, get back to work. So, oh, I'm uh, sorry, Mike Patey, get back to work or back to work? No, it's back to work actually. Um, or as we used to say in the Signals Corps in the military, pitter patter, let's get at her. So, let's get at her. But I'm just going to mark along here where the edge is hmm. let's try putting it on the right way well, well, sure that works out better okay Okay, I hope you can see that. Um, that's the profile of that bracket. Now what I'm going to do, of course I can erase this marker, even though it's a permanent marker, MEK will wipe it right off. Um, I'm going to cut it back about, oh, not quite a quarter inch back, all the way around. And then from the corners, I'm going to cut a slit inwards so that when I put this bracket on I can fold the cloth outwards a bit and then from the back side I'm going to seal it on there with some uh, either glue or silicone just to lock it in place and make it so that when I land on the water water doesn't splash in here and soak everything not sure if I need to do that but that's what I'm going to do so let's get on That's a horrible sound you don't want to hear. 
that sound of the cloth ripping like that. But I'm doing it deliberately so I can modify this Roni bracket or put the modified Roni bracket on. Okay, on the inside is the round contoured washer, followed by a, looks like a fender washer and of course the nut. And the outside is the square piece with the strut bracket. So now what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to um, Tighten it down according to the recommended specifications, which say it should be okay. There is no play in that at all. Let's back that up just a little bit. Oh, I can feel a little wiggle. Tighten it. And then I'm going to turn it one a little bit more. And there we go. That Okay, there's no play at all, but it can still be moved just with a little bit of force on there. Okay? Okay, I'm going to double check that with the uh, with these brackets before I uh, mount the wings, just to make sure I've got it done correctly. Might take a few more tries. Um, but um, to me that's, uh, that's about what they're asking for is it should have absolutely no play, no wiggle room whatsoever. It should be a solid connection, solid mating to the, uh, to the launcher on, uh, but not torched down so tight that the bracket uh, is immovable. Yeah, that's, that's my take on it. Um, they say it has to be able to float just a little bit. So, um, yeah, I think I've achieved that, but I'm going to double check, uh, as you should too, if you're doing this. Uh, make sure you're confident that you're, you're tightening it down to the right torque specification. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to be carrying on with this. I'm going to put the other three brackets on, but that's how this first bracket went on, and that's how all the others are going to go on. Um, not really hard, is it? No, it doesn't look hard at all. 
the difficult ones might be <laughs> the rears <laughs> because uh, I've got a big fuel tank in the way now. Yeah. So we will uh, just get a little back there. So yeah, those might be a little more difficult because uh, reaching around from the back side. But um, no, actually, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. So um, yeah, remember to check those brackets and uh, follow the AD on that and um, purchase a new set. And if you have it on floats, absolutely purchase it with those those uh, additional braces. Even if you don't have yours on floats, go with the modified units uh, because it will um, uh, it will make it much safer. So, there. not that it's a they're falling out of the sky because of it, but it has happened. So yeah, an ounce of prevention. Okay, back to work. Two hours later. Okay, um, back after doing a bunch of work. So I've got all my Roni brackets mounted, as I mentioned, and I've got my Zeus fasteners put in. Let's take a look at that. Here's the back seat now. A piece of wood that's on a hinge that everybody who has a Challenger knows all about. Uh, that's back on, and here's the entrance to the glove box. Now, I was going to put on the Zeus fasteners with the um, thumb dealies, the wing nuts, wing thumb wings. Well, I don't have any, so right now I'm just using the regular screw ones. But there we go. If you take a look inside, there's the view inside of that box. And there we go. So I just have to take my little screwdriver here out with one hand while holding a camera. Let's see if I can do this. I've seen other people do stuff similar or even more complicated. There we go. There. And then this one. There we go. Nice positive click stop. Tells me it's locked in place. It's in there good and solid. Now I'm going to probably close this off here a little bit. Uh, I need to see this tube and I got to mark the fuel level all the way up as I'm doing it. But down to about over here, I think I'm just going to put a, uh, another sheet of aluminum here just to close this off. Um, I don't know, maybe just to angle aluminum there. Not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, I've seen others, who, people who've closed that back part off, others who've closed this off completely um, back here, and it looked really nice. Uh, so I'll think about it. Um, it's not necessary, really. Now, of course, you can see all the way through to the back, but there's a plate missing back there, the firewall, and when that comes on, that'll be all you know, you won't be able to see out. Um, you'll be able to see way inside all the plumbing. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, address that, uh, or even if I'm going to. You know, I might just say it's okay just to put a piece of angle aluminum so that the seat back has something to rest against and uh, put a little strip of Velcro on it so it holds it in place. There's no reason for me to open that up other than to, uh, I've got to, you know, I've got to fold it forward in order to open this. So that does have to hinge down. And then this can hinge up and I can get into that glove box thing, which in a way kind of helps keep this closed if for whatever reason the Zeus fasteners let loose. So, yeah, whatever. And again, the Roni brackets. Let's take a step back here. Ah. Oh. The Roni brackets are on now with the plate, that uh, distribution plate on all sides. And here, let me show you. I think this is probably a better angle. Pardon the shaky camera. Again, I gotta fire the cameraman. And on the inside, of course, you've got the other washer that's curved that, and then of course it's bolted on there. And here's the top of the 
Roni bracket on that side there. So that's supposed to help distribute the, the, uh, the load um, on this bracket to prevent that cracking from occurring. And um, yeah, so um, if you've got one on floats, give it some serious thought uh, of, of doing that upgrade because there have been issues. Uh, not a lot of issues, but enough that says, hey, do it. So that's it for today. Um, I hope that I do get my bearing from that uh, crankshaft uh, this coming week. Oh, it should be. I mean, it's already, uh, I, the tracking says that uh, it was delayed because of weather. So I know it's just sitting in the post office. And I pick up my mail at a post office box that's sitting in a parking lot for a gas station because I live in the country. So, yeah, uh, Monday it'll probably be in the box, which is fine. And that means that I can come out here to the hangar and um, remove the uh, old one and install the new one. And once I get that done, then I've got to do a lot of cleaning and, uh, and, and, and what have you and start the reassembly process for that engine. And uh, of course the bottom half first, put all that back together again, make sure new seals and all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, of course I also have to decarbon the pistons and the, and the cylinders and the cylinder heads and yeah, bit of work to do yet. Um, but hey, there's there's a lot of progress going on with that. That engine is going to be mounted very soon. But now that I have these uh, reinforced Romy brackets on here, I can mount the wings and uh, and be happy with that. Um, then it'll look like an airplane. Wow. So uh, once again, thank you very much for following along. I appreciate it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, leave a comment, uh, even if it's just a hello from wherever you're watching from. And if you like what you see, um, hit that subscribe button. And um, um, yeah, that's, um, um, I, th I think I'm going to hit 200 subscribers real soon. Wow. <laughs> Again, <laughs> never expected it. This was supposed to be for family and friends. Uh, so I'm glad you guys are getting something out of it. Um, I have been uh, conversing with uh, a couple of other Challenger 2 owners. and. Uh, uh, they've had some questions, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad uh, you're you're seeing what I'm doing and kind of can apply it to your own. Um, that's encouraging because I'm doing the same thing. I'm watching what other people are doing as well, going, "Hey, that's a really good idea." Uh, so um, yeah, that's it. Um, have yourself a uh, a great day, and uh, always remember, keep your stick on the ice. We'll see you again in the hangar. Bye bye. And once again, thank you very much for watching. If you've got questions about those brackets and where I got them, uh, just drop me a line in the comments and I will do my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.